hey guys good evening welcome back to my channel you can tell from the title that this video is highly girly and i don't even know how i'm gonna put a title yet but you guys know already what it's all about but i kind of like sense it from the title because i'm gonna put it how you guys will get it because i don't want to like put it as it should be because youtube will flag my video so i'm gonna try to like quote the title so anyway good evening welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today is a girly requested video how to make down there smell good and tighten up you guys this is highly requested this is one of the top videos that i love to put out if you watch my video from the beginning of my channel i do weight loss and i also talk about girly lifestyle so this one is how to get tightened down there down there how to make it nice and tight and firm so you can enjoy it more so um if you're new to my channel my name is abby and i post health videos on this channel i also post weight loss video beauty video anything to do with your health is what i post here my weight loss are very very effective if you're trying to lose weight if it's your first time here go check out my weight loss remedy you're going to love it you're going to be like abby this is good so anyway go check out my weight loss remedy you're going to love it you have nothing to regret if you want to lose belly fat whole body fat i have a lot of remedies to help you home remedies that works very very well to help you lose weight so go check it out so today's video like i said it's going to be how to tighten our you know very tight and enjoy it more it's gonna be few things i'm gonna put together that you can use to tighten down there and enjoy it longer so yeah we're gonna get right into the video i don't want to make it too long this recipe remedy is very very effective very very effective for all of you that have loose you know down there if it's very very loose due to child birth due to i don't know but this is going to help you tighten it up more but before we go on if you're new to my channel please subscribe before we go on and turn on the notification bell a lot of you guys do watch but don't subscribe pleading with you if you're new here or you've been watching it is time to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and yeah leave a comment share my videos let's get right into the video because i know i'm gonna be rambling a lot so let's get right into the video i have my bowl over here just a plain bowl and we're going to be cutting well i always grow my own aloe vera you guys know that so i'm gonna be cutting this much because this use will last for two three times wash and you can buy or grow your own aloe vera since I use aloe vera so much, so I decided to grow my own. So I'm going to be using about one tablespoon of aloe vera gel. And you can put this in a blender if you want. But I'm not going to put it in the blender. I find it easier way to like mash down my aloe vera, which I'm going to be showing you guys. So I just put the aloe vera in here. The next thing I'm going to use is rose water. This is a natural rose water. You can make your own rose water if you want to see how I make it. I didn't make this one. I bought it. It's only a dollar. So you can make it, but because it's so cheap, I don't have to make it. And it takes, it takes like probably a day to like make rose water because you need to like soak it overnight for 24 hours to actually get the rose water. So I'm going to be using <clears throat> about, let me get my measurement cup. I'm gonna be using one quarter of cup this one and I'm going to use that the reason why you're using these is because you want there to smell really good and you want it in a natural way and you also want to make it like you know tight and fresh so I can smell the rose water so the rose water is there to give it a good smell natural good smell you don't want to put perfume there like i said so um i have it here and the next thing that we're going to be using is alum ho or ho alum so you can see the company is like the same thing as mine i trust this company so much i trust them so much so i'm going to be using about one teaspoon of alum which i already broke my alum and it's about one tablespoon of alum and you're gonna drop it in here alum is the main ingredient for this alum and um, aloe vera if you have aloe vera alone but I guess 
it, can, it can't do the job all the way people say it works very well for there but I don't think it can do the job by itself alum can do the job by itself just putting alum in the water for nice rinse over there but anyway so let me just get my fork so I'm just going to break alum is going to melt in the water I'm just going to break the aloe vera you can use your fork to like break the aloe vera just smash it in there okay so this is it so we're going to be adding about two cups of water I'm not gonna measure it I can just tell from here that's about two yeah so that's about two cup of warm water from my kettle and this is what it looks like so I'm gonna head over to the bathroom and show you how to use it um, so you want to get yourself a bottle like this I have about three of these bottles that I use for my DIY stuff for my hair shampoo for down there I have different kind of this bottle so you want to get yourself something like this empty like this and I'll show you the cover and why the cover is important I used to use bottle water for it but it doesn't work very well you just gush out which you don't want so i'm going to be throwing this water in here everything in here and this usually lasts for two wash and you want you want the one that has a mouth like this you know what i mean like the straw kind of mouth like um the cover so it can go right there to wash so you just i don't want to waste it i usually give it a good shape it takes um probably like hours for the alum to melt so you want to do it like at least a couple hours before you wash it so you can actually dissolve and you can see the difference so i'm giving it a good shape this is it and when you're washing it you want to like i'm just going to cover them out you want to like use it downward and you know wash down there very well after you bake do your first usually wash first like the way you wash down there normally and then use this as last and don't rinse it with any water when you use it after you use this just leave it hair dry it girl you can tell right away how clean your your thing is and you can tell how tight it's getting you can you can do it you can put your finger in it it start closing up right away and you can you can feel it that makes sense i'm trying not to use any strong sexually language in this video because i don't want youtube to flag my videos i don't like it and this camera is too soft but i'm almost done the video so i don't want youtube to flag my video it pains me when they flag my video so anyways i hope this is helpful i hope you guys like it i love it so much and i've been using this for years you can use it twice a week this will last you for two like two times rinse and you can do it again in another week you don't have to do it every day you don't have to use it every day so but for the first use you might want to get used to like doing it every day so you can get very strong back and this one is very effective don't go and waste your money this is it this is the best for home remedy and effective so yeah anyway this is it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you guys like this remedy if you do give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends and family i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys in my next one Bye, guys.